In this recording, I want to go over a few super awesome things. The first thing I want to go over with you is where you can find your stuff. So as long as you are signed in, now you need to make sure you're signed in first. You can do that by looking up over here. As long as you're signed in, if you click on this little carrot, you have the option to see a few different things. Your profile, my stuff, yours might also say your my class because you're a member of a classroom or something like that. Uh, but you're just going to click on my stuff. And when you click on my stuff, Scratch will take you to your stuff, the things that you've created and worked on in the past. So here you will see all of your projects. You'll see the projects that have been shared and unshared, uh, which allows you to show them to other members of the Scratch community. Uh, it'll also show you any studios that you have, if you've ever created a studio. Uh, so that's just a really great way to be able to get back to anything that you've been working on in the past. Because we're not always going to want to create something new each time we go to Scratch. It's good to be able to get back to other projects we've worked on. So if I were to open this one, just for fun today, the next thing that I want to show you how to do is using what is called our backpack. So I'm going to click see inside in order to edit this project. And you see below where it says backpack down here, if I click on this little arrow, my backpack opens up. A backpack is super awesome because you are able to write code for one character and then save that code and use it for other things. So no matter how complicated I made this, maybe I did if touching mouse pointer, move 10 steps, look, mm, think, hmm, change color effect, and repeat that all 10 times, and then, I don't know, you could make this as long as you want it. If you click on it and drag it into your backpack, you will see your code stays with your cat, but now it's in your backpack. Close your backpack up. Go add some new sprites. Maybe I'll add bananas. And I want these bananas to be doing the same thing as the cat for some reason. I'll click on my script, drag it in, and there I go. Uh, this is super helpful if you're building a game where you have a bunch of balls bouncing around or you want to make a bunch of different sprites doing the same thing, but you don't want them to necessarily be the exact same character. This is one nice, easy way to, uh, to kind of reuse code that you wrote without having to rewrite it each and every single time. I hope those two tips for today were helpful. Have a great one.